Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey here, and this week, this Wednesday, is the third episode of Mask Singer Season 8, and we actually just got a commercial promoting it. Let's break down everything we know and go through some of the pitch correct audio. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. Also, a special heads up, we are discontinuing our uh, We Knew It pins. So I think I maybe have 12 left, I think it was $5. So grab them before they're gone, they're collectible. I think that we've had this now for about two seasons. I'll probably do a third pin, maybe in about, oh gosh, a few weeks. So uh, if you want one of these, get it while we still have them. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So this week is episode three, and so returning queen is going to be the harp. She's gonna be facing two other costumes, or really two other groups, because you do have the storyteller, one person, yes, he does come out from behind there to sing and perform, but we also have the mummies. Now, the mummies are three people. Three singers, and people are like, well, it's gotta be a three-person group, right? You know, boys the men, or something like that. Mm. All I can say is, it could be a three-person group, or, Maybe it's a mix of a boy band. Like maybe if it was like, you know, three people from NSYNC or three people from the Backstreet Boys. Think about who's touring right now. Who needs PR? I know the Backstreet Boys is touring, right? I think O-Town posted a video not too long ago saying that they've kind of got back together for the first time in a very long time. So keep those people in mind when you're guessing for the mummy now we really have no clues for the mummy at this time except for you know the costumes are amazing like i love these costumes now this episode is tv themes so i'm assuming everyone's going to be singing just tv theme songs maybe like the love boat the love boat sorry because i did that video yesterday about the real love boat that song has been stuck in my head every single second and I can't get it out. The love, so okay, I gotta stop. Anyway, they put up a video onto YouTube to kind of give this a 30 second preview of the show. Let's check it out together. So here we go. Okay, TV episode, we got the TV hats, that's pretty cool. Nick, everyone's wearing a great outfit. Oh my God, Jenny with the dark hair? Seems so strange. The mummy's still in their 40s. All right. We're there, I'm telling you. Bring the drama. And mommy, juicy plot twist. Oh no! That'll have you glued to your TV. The really not seeing a lot. Yeah, Ted is always out of his mind. They must have taken a page out of last last week's uh, commercial, because you don't see any reveals. You don't see any changing in outfits. But I can tell you this: the harp is not being revealed. You saw what Nick was wearing again, right? It was like a Jeff hat and a couple other like goofy outfits. Remember, when the harp gets revealed, he's wearing a full-blown tuxedo, and in the corner, we see confetti kind of like put together. So I believe the harp is going to win this episode. Now, 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 a lot of people are still confused about the format. If she wins, which we're predicting she will win, she will not compete next week. Instead, they're going to go through another round of three episodes where they'll crown another queen or king. And then another three episodes where they crown another queen or king. And then we have the semifinals where three people come together. She's going to jump right to the semifinals. Okay, so that's, I know it's a different format, but I really like this format. And I think that a lot of people maybe don't understand it yet. But I, I think this is a great way of doing it. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, who is the harp? What clues do we have? I already revealed the harp. If you go through my videos last Friday, I think it's got maybe like 8,000 views right now. I went through all the clues, the pitch correct audio, and we already figured out who is under the mask of the harp. So if you wanna go back and check out that video, I'll try to link it down below. But I do have some pitch correct audio for you to listen to. Uh, before we dive into that, I do have to add on to this week's episode. We do have Jody Sweden who's going to be on the show. 
she's going to jump on as a uh, as a panelist and probably introduce the characters and maybe give some clues. So it's nice to see her. For those who don't know, she was on Full House and Fuller House. That's probably where you know her best. And, I mean, she's legitimately grown up on TV. I think she started that show. She was, like, six. And she's now, like, in her 30s. So she has literally grown up on TV. So it's kind of cool to see her on this episode. Anyway... I'm going to go ahead and play the pitch correct audio for the harp. I'll play the audio they gave us and then our audio. Take a listen. Well, you know, Nicole, I always love seeing our names together. <gasps> well, you know, Nicole, I always love seeing our names together. <gasps> So there you guys go. That's everything we know at this, at least this time, because I know what happens. I normally record this video at like 1 p.m. and then three o'clock comes rolling by as I'm just posting this video. And they're like, hey, look at this exclusive performance. And I'm like, ah, what are you doing to me? Anyway, I want to thank you for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications and give this video a thumbs up. And remember, if you want to grab one of these pins, we only have a couple left. Make sure you grab them in the links below. Anyway, I'm Joey. Stay safe. I'll see you later. Bye.